Welcome to the movement assessment. So for today, we're gonna to break down a few movement patterns, uh, going through eight to be exact. And it's simply a way to evaluate how well you move and then create a customized program and then also to reevaluate how we're doing down the road to see what movements are improving, what movements need a little bit more attention and just making sure that the body is moving well and we're not loading restrictions or issues and then having them being stuck and being in dysfunction. So there's a lot of great information from today, so make sure you're moving to the fullest range, the, 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 the furthest you can go. And we're gonna start off the, the movement assessment with just some setup. So make sure when you're setting up the camera, your phone, you can have someone else film, or you can just prop it up with a water bottle or something like that, just to make sure that you can get your whole body within the shot. At some point, we're gonna have our arms up overhead, so you wanna make sure that you've got um, enough of an angle. So get the phone or the camera far enough back. And also you wanna make sure you're lined up perpendicular to the camera. For the video, we're gonna take off our shoes. Shoes and socks would be great. And also if you can layer down to shorts um, and for, for gentlemen, no, no shirt for, for the ladies, even if you can go down to a sports bra or a tank top, um, and if you really don't feel comfortable, you can wear your shirt and tuck it into the sports bra as far as you can, just so we can see as much of the body as possible and just seeing how the spine is moving through the movements. Okay, so starting it off, first movement, we're gonna be facing away with the arms by the side and you're gonna rotate as far as you can, facing the camera one direction and then rotating around facing the camera the other direction. You're gonna do that two times, making sure you keep the feet beside each other. You're rotating as far as you can without bending the knees either and going both directions. So once you've done two times each side, the next movement we're gonna do again with the feet right beside each other, we're gonna do a flexion test. So I'm just gonna get you to bend down as far as you can towards the toes and then come back up. Take your time, going nice and easy. Make sure you keep your knees straight. Coming down towards the toes, relax your head, and then coming back up. Two. The third one, arms up in line with the head. We're gonna do an extension test here. Make sure you pump the brakes if you're feeling any discomfort or pain, and just let me know in the video if there is pain with the movement. So all you're gonna do here is arms up in line with the ears, trying to keep the body nice and tall to start, and we're gonna extend back as far as you can. You might need to brace a little bit to protect the back. Going back, reset, back as far as you can. Okay, so that's number three. The fourth one here, we're gonna do a hinging pattern. We're gonna get your feet shoulder width apart. Hands can be right behind the head like so, keeping the tall neck. And you're just gonna hinge through the hips, pushing your hips back, keeping a soft knee, and then coming up tall again. Hinge through the hips, and then come back up nice and tall. That's halfway, the halfway point right there. The next one we're gonna do is our squat. So. Same idea here, we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, facing away from the camera, perpendicular. You can have your hands by your shoulders and then squatting down as low as you can. You might need to adjust yourself a couple times. We're gonna do two, and if you feel the first one was a bit rocky, you can do three reps going down as far as you can. And then we're gonna do one facing the camera as well, just so I can see how the legs are moving from the front, going down, as far as you can, going down, and that's our squat. The next ones are split squat, just to see how you are with staggered stance. We're gonna have the feet set up, one basically in front of the hip on one side of the shoulder, and then the one just farther back. It's as if you're doing a step and a half forward. Hands can be on the shoulders again. You're gonna come down, controlled, and then back up. Grazing the ground with your knee, back up. We're gonna do two times each side, coming down, back up, down, back up, and that's all there is to it. Second last one here, we're gonna have our hands on our hips and we're gonna do three jumps. Trying to go as high as you can, land, and then bounce back up as if you're on a trampoline. So up, one, two, 
three, and stick in the landing. Make sure they're repetitive. You're doing one after the other, then the third. Last but not least, our push-up test here. We're testing our torso to see how we can keep our body nice and straight and, and uh, stable, and then also just a little bit of upper body strength as well. So you're gonna set up, make sure that you can get the whole, your whole body within the frame of the camera as best you can. Our hands are gonna be just outside our shoulders, right underneath, and our legs nice and straight. We're gonna do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. If it's difficult and you can't do all the reps, you can go down to the knees and see how many you can do, see if you can get to 10. You don't need to go more than 10. Those are the movement patterns. If there is pain or discomfort with any of them, make sure you just let, you say it to the camera just so when we're watching the videos, we can see that there was pain. And then you can even point out exactly where that pain was, the discomfort. So that's it for the movement assessment. Once you're done recording, you can send that off and then we'll review your movement screen so then we can make your custom program.